Have you ever looked closely at a mothball, Lala? Not really. It smells too much. Yeah, they're pretty smelly. Well, that's because the material in the mothball evaporates into the air. And, but if you do take a close look at it, notice there's a little shine, mm -hmm. little sort of glisten. That means that they're made of crystals, and those are the little crystal surfaces that you're seeing. I use them, though, to illustrate a very important scientific technique, which is to make crystals. Have you ever tried to make crystals? Yeah, once, but it didn't work. What were, what were they all? Well, I was trying to grow rock candy. Yes, and what happened? Well, nothing it just, happened? Nothing well, happened. Well, you were trying to grow a crystal from solution. You dissolved it in, yeah. in water. I, I'm going to grow crystals using mothballs, but I'm going to melt them and condense the vapor into a crystal. And here's how I did it. Took the mothballs, put them in the bottom of the dish like this, yeah. put it on the stove in a double boiler until the mothballs melted and actually boiled a little bit. Then I allowed the, this vapor to condense on the top here and cool, and you can see why I call this mothball frost. Take a look at it with a magnifying glass and you can see little tiny crystals. Oh, they're tiny. Yes. They're all in a pattern, too. Yes, all in a pattern. They're all very similar shaped. Yeah. And then, look what happened to the mothball solution when it cooled. It just went on the bottom and made a sort of glassy surface. Yes, but you see the crystals in there? Yep. Yeah, so this looks like what? Jack Frost on the window. With mothballs. Right. <laughs>